forewarned weather with Exact Track 4D. All right, let's head over to Washtenaw County. Say hello to our friends there where the Ann Arbor Summer Festival at Top of the Park in Ingalls Mall is kicking off soon. The Kids Zone opens in less than an hour along with live music, food, and fun for the whole family. So let's get started into our seven-day forecast because lots of people have lots of plans this weekend, Brett. Yeah, lots of things going on. The weather for the most part should be all right, but a couple of raindrops you'll have to dodge uh, here and there, including at this hour, exact track 4D radar, not nearly as busy or as active as it was yesterday, but seeing a few showers and thunderstorms. First of all, want to point out a strong line of storms between Flint and Saginaw. That's going to move to the east, so if you're north of I-69 this evening. You'll have to watch out for that around here, though. There are a couple of showers and thunderstorms that have been developing uh, just in the last half an hour or so. This cell between Salem and Plymouth, almost towards Northville. No lightning, no severe weather with it, but it is packing uh, a bit of a punch. I want to take a look at the 3D structure within this storm, and we'll tilt down so that you can see the core of this storm over 20,000 feet in the atmosphere. It's even higher than that for some of these smaller raindrops. Uh, we look at this to kind of indicate or try to find out is there hail? How heavy is the rain falling at this moment? This is the strongest storm back out to the west. There are a couple of other storms along kind of this weak little line, but you can see these are not nearly as strong with the exception. Maybe one just to the west of Northfield that again could be getting closer to 30,000 feet high uh, in the atmosphere. Otherwise across Metro Detroit, just some light spotty showers. There is a heavier shower and even some lightning and some thunder up near Sandusky. So we'll quickly zoom in on that. This is in the heart of Sanilac County and moving off to the east. So Watertown over towards Carsonville. There is some heavy rain. We'll see a few more of these throughout the next couple of hours. I really like what this model does here. So let's take you through it. The next couple of hours, a couple here and there. But notice that stronger line of storms staying to our north. So if you have plans this evening, I don't cancel them. Make sure that you have the forewarned weather app handy. So if anything like this does develop between now and midnight, you will be alerted of it. Make sure that you have those alerts on. Now beyond 10 p.m., the activity should wane down. We'll see some clearing here overnight tonight. And then tomorrow, once again, I'm not going to rule out one or two of these showers or storms firing off. Chances though are much better to our north, at least to start the day Saturday. Come Saturday night, overnight into Sunday morning, there's a cold front coming through and that will produce showers. It looks like this is mainly going to be during the overnight hours, but even at around 8 a.m. on Sunday, there still could be a lingering shower or two that we may have to contend with. Now the other big story here today, it's still hot and muggy out there, mid to upper 80s, a couple of spots touching 90. It's going to feel like it's in the upper 90s the next couple of days with that and air quality alert in effect through the rest of today. 72 overnight tonight, those storms coming to an end. Tomorrow we're going to keep the chance in there, but it's the overnight hours that we're expecting the better chance for widespread showers and thunderstorms. Looks like Monday looks all right for the fireworks. Good news there. We'll dive into that at five. Another system comes later Tuesday into Wednesday. All right. Thank you, Brett.